Howdy peeps, it's the Pinking here. Godzilla. Everyone knows the G-Man, one way or another. And there's a very good reason for that. Godzilla has existed for 70 years, constantly being changed and reimagined for old and new audiences. Godzilla has staked his place in characters' Hall of Fame, alongside characters like James Bond or Batman. Godzilla is one of a very few franchises that's been able to constantly evolve while may almost never losing what makes them great. Well, I said almost. Now, you might be wondering why I bring all this up. And well, it's because of one very important factor I've seen ever since the release of Minus One. And that's the belief that Godzilla doesn't work in the States. Or hell, Godzilla can't work in two separate franchises. And this is what I want to talk about. Because so many people have come out to say that Godzilla should stay in Japan and that things like the MonsterVerse just doesn't work. With most people saying this, either people who just hate Hollywood, so make videos about it to get views and attention, or people who just aren't educated on the big G. So today, I'm not only going to talk about why Godzilla can and does work in multiple franchises, why all of you are wrong about Godzilla. But first, let me just say, don't harass anyone mentioned in this video because that's just not cool and it helps no one. First, let's talk about the elephant in the room, Dr. Skipper's video. This was probably the catalyst for all this discussion and conflict in the first place, with Skipper making a very poor video, one that had a lot of misinformation, but not the kind where it's quite easy to mistake something, but big issues that you either have to actively lie about to best suit your narrative, or just bad at researching. Such as when he claims people don't know Godzilla originated from Japan, which I don't even need to tell you is just plain moronic. Or his bold claim that Godzilla is public domain in America. Something that has never been the case, especially when you consider Toho, the studio behind Goji, is notorious for their copyright over him. And that's just within the first minute of the video. Skipper clearly has shown a lack of care and interest in Godzilla, so couldn't even bother to do the basic research. Which for a character as significant as Goji, is a very poor taste in move. To me it just seems like Skipper just wanted to cash in on the minus one hype, by bashing another highly anticipated movie, Godzilla X Kong. And the sad part is, it worked with the video reaching over 150k views. But more people have talked about Skipper than I can count, so I'll keep this brief and now move on to another popular YouTuber who has created a very uneducated video on Godzilla. Nerdstalgic is a channel which, for the most part, has stayed away from drama, apart from the time where they were caught plagiarising a smaller creator's video. But for the most part, they've been clean mainly, making video essays about film media and what works and what doesn't work about them. And for the most part, they've done some really good videos. But their Godzilla video is not one of them. As once again, it's coming from someone who hasn't done their research on Godzilla, other than the bare minimum. Bashing the MonsterVerse for being goofy and unrealistic compared to its first film, Godzilla 2014, and Japan's Shin Godzilla and Godzilla Minus One. Saying the MonsterVerse needs to go back and get more esteemed directors. But that's not the problem Godzilla has. If you haven't noticed, both of these YouTubers have essentially bashed the MonsterVerse while trying to present Japan's Godzilla as the superior version. When in reality, you can't do that. You can't compare Godzilla in Japan to Godzilla in America. Because they're trying to be two completely different things. And that's okay. It's like someone trying to compare Shawshank Redemption to Holes. Yes, both have the idea of someone being locked away or sent away for a crime they didn't commit. But they're not doing the same thing, as in Shawshank, it's about a man trying to survive and ultimately escape his prison. 
Meanwhile, in Holes, it's about trying to clear the main character's name and lift an ancient curse. One's a serious and symbolic masterpiece, the other one is a fun and nostalgic comedy movie, with some heartfelt moments. Both are different, and that's okay. Both try to do something different, hence why nobody ever compares them. Why do I bring this up? Because it's the same thing here, and the very thing all these YouTubers are wrong about. Godzilla in Japan, most recently, have been pieces about more serious topics, whether that be regret, guilt, pain, or tragedy, Toho's Godzilla has been trying to do more serious films and play more to Godzilla's terrifying origins. Meanwhile, Legendary's Godzilla is instead trying to play more to Goji's Showa and Heisei era roots, with much more fun and energetic action and adventure stories. Yes, both are Godzilla, but they appeal to completely different genres and markets, and thus can coexist together. As they're not competing with one another, they both know exactly what genre they're in, and what side of Godzilla they are, and thus are completely playing to their strengths. And that's the magic behind Godzilla, the fact that despite him being a very specific character you can do, you can do so much with him, the only limit is your imagination. And finally, my final point for this video is to address the thing everyone is wrong about, even the most die-hard Godzilla fans. Because Nerdstalgic was right, the Monsterverse does have a big problem, but it's not the issues he suggested. But rather, the Monsterverse's biggest flaw is the lack of direction. What do I mean? Well, basically, these movies ultimately have no goals. They aren't building up to anything, or are they leading anywhere? There's nothing to keep audiences coming back for more. Take a look at the MCU. The reason everybody kept coming back was because they knew the overall story was leading somewhere. Everything had a purpose. But the Monsterverse lacks a direction. There's no clear path forward, as it feels like they're making it up as they go along. So there's nothing to feel excited for beyond the superficial monster action. But there is a way to fix this. And that is have something to keep people's interest. There needs to be something consistent throughout each movie that people can get invested in, whether it be Monarch and their adventures, perhaps characters who can get into people immersed into the stories, or a story that's building up to a final showdown. Anything can work. And in conclusion, this video was not made to bash on anyone, but instead to try and explain why people are wrong and give potential ways for improvement, which is something every reviewer should do. It's been The Pinking, and I will see you all next time.